Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to some more Bloodborne. Picking up right where we left off with only one blood vial. Hopefully whatever this is up ahead, it is friendly. Uh, also, it is standing right next to our blood echoes. At least that's convenient. Um, not able to lock onto it, and it appears to be... Oh. Oh my. It appeared to be a woman in a dress with an eviscerated stomach. And in the background, the sound of a crying newborn. Now, we found a note earlier where the ritual to bring about, uh, I think to draw the moon closer, required the sacrifice of a newborn. Perhaps directly from that woman's womb it had been pulled. The ritual secret broken. Seek the nightmare newborn. And we are back in Cathedral Ward. But not anywhere I recognize in Kick. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Wow. Now, the statue from earlier in, like, at the Hypogean Jail Lantern looked like this creature. Is this... Oh, man, I don't know. Is this one of the great ones? It doesn't quite seem big enough oh whoa 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 uh excuse me did you just try to attack me i cannot lock onto it got a path up that way and a door over there let's check out this really quick oh um oh several of those I don't really feel like rushing out against this guy, though. Oh, several of these guys. Let's see if we can't finish him off quick. Yeah. Some blood vials, that's certainly nice. What was... Oh, 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 rifleman. Oh my god, the sky out here has become crazy. Um, hmm. How do we want to deal with this? See if we can get... Oh, nope, not quite. A little bit of shelter from the gunfire. I just gotta keep moving. And as defensive as these guys can be, the parry and repost really feels like the best strategy. But the rifle shots are complicating that a bit. I also have not had an opportunity to get the other rune back on so that that regains me any health. Come on now. Still twin shards, so we're not quite to chunks yet, which is unfortunate. And a way to get up to them, possibly this way. Oh, and another one of these guys. Man, they are everywhere out here. Uh, let's see if we can catch him before he decides to leave us. 
Yeah, just bloodstone shards. Um, not even sure how we would reach the guys with the rifles. And then this is NPCs to talk to. Wait a minute. This is where the two hunters were. Okay. Has that path always been there? Did I miss this the last time I came through here? Okay, finally a moment to look at the sky. And that has clearly changed. As it appears that the ritual has been completed. Drawing the pale blood moon ever closer. Now we're getting no response from these guys. Okay. Oh, come on now. Hmm. So are these people no longer inside their homes? Or maybe it's just the middle of the night and they're taking naps. <laughs> yeah, somehow something so innocent seems a little unlikely, doesn't it? Okay. Come down here, and then I guess there's not a way to deal with the rifle guys. They just have to be, oh, come on, avoided. I uh, should really go ahead and heal. Unless I can make this jump, perhaps? Nope. All right, well, we'll just give these guys a wide berth then. And then back to here with this horrible, terrifying thing. Uh, I do believe it took a swing at me whenever I got too close to this door. So let's see if we can't just run by. Yeah. That looks very similar to the effect from earlier uh, where I got like picked up by an invisible hand when I was in the middle of Cathedral Ward. Yargul's Unseen Village. Oh, oh. Enemies rising from the ground. More Yarnamites, but clearly upgraded in just how strong they are. Now these were the, the statues I was talking about earlier. They're certainly much smaller than that creature. And it had like a tentacled mouth, but there is uh, certainly a resemblance. Oh man, and that moon. Oh man, and there's another one right there. And right there, oh my god. Are they just like everywhere now? Okay. Well, that was an interesting sound. Um, there appear to be giant King Kong monsters gripping onto the buildings practically everywhere. Oh, jeez. Are these the great ones? Do I want to find out with only three blood vials? Oh, man. Okay, so with three blood vials and 28,000 blood echoes and a new lantern, seems like an excellent opportunity to head back to the Hunter's Dream. We'll go ahead. This doesn't see. Well, no. The sky didn't look like that before. But the moon hasn't changed here. It's still white. Welcome home. What is it, you? Let's go ahead and pop a couple of levels. Let me. Um. Or one level. Oh, and then we're two blood echo short. Uh, I s uh, no. You know what? 
Let's go arcane. Let's go ahead and start uh, getting that to 15. Farewell, good hunter. May you... And then we'll pop one of these in order to get another level. What is it? Very well, let me. We'll do that one to arcane two to level 50. And then see if she has anything new to say. Good hunter, your presence somehow soothes. I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. The ancient echoes. Good hunter, I sense the. Huh. Well, good hunter. Perhaps from killing Rom, uh, that I've somehow got something more inside me now than I previously did. Any new additions here? Does not appear so. Let's check out the insight merchant. If he has anything for us. Fire paper is being sold. Twin bloodstone shards. But nothing particularly exciting there. And as long as we're here, we'll go ahead and change out Arcane Lake for Blood Rapture again. And then if our wheelchair friend is napping anywhere no it does not seem so okay and one final thing I want to check I don't know if this is ever gonna get unlocked but because the sky over here seems to have changed uh, there's a locked gate down here which is still just closed. Hmm. I don't know if that's ever going to open up or if it's just to mimic the entrance from the source of the dream. But we'll have to just keep checking back. Now, due to the sky changing, the moon entering another phase, and the combination of us being so low on blood vials, I think we're going to go ahead and head back and just make a run by all the NPCs, see if they have anything new to say or any new materials for us. Now I know we haven't had anything new for Osefka in quite some time, so I don't expect her dialogue to have changed, but maybe it's... Huh. She is no longer here, and the door not even just locked, it's just not even able to be interacted with. Okay, well, I'm hoping if not for any plot reasons, then at the very least we've got to farm a few blood vials before we can really make any progress. Uh, otherwise, I just imagine us getting stuck fairly quickly. I certainly hear something over there. It's still closed by some device. So I hope it's over there. And... Man. If not for being so horrifying, that would be gorgeous. Uh, the coloration of the sky like that is just very striking. And we'll come up here deal with some of the cannon fodder from fairly early on in the game and just hope for some blood drop blood vial drops really they did not seem willing to give us there's an NPC shacked up in his house up here though uh, perhaps he'll have something new for us and, and again whoa 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 you were not a guy previously over here. Claw mark. Okay. Uh, that was a rune. Claw mark. 
missed it. Clawmark. Strengthens visceral attacks. Ups visceral attack attack by 20%. A carol rune that transcribes in human sounds. The Clawmark is an impulse to seek the warmth of blood like a beast. It strengthens visceral attacks, one of the darker hunter techniques. Although the difference is subtle, Runesmith Carol describes the beast as a horrific and unwelcome instinct deep within the hearts of men, while Clawmark is an alluring invitation to accept this very nature. Okay, so that ups visceral attacks, didn't we? We also had Beast, which boosts effects of temporary transformation. So, this is one of the first to be deemed forbidden. Hmm. So, while it's forbidden to completely transform, it seems okay to, oh, to welcome just a little bit of it. Huh. So that was him? Finally transformed and bursting outwards? Because the bars definitely don't look like they were bent in. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to discover more of the townsfolk have succumbed as the night has gone on and also transformed. Got another NPC house right here. Gives us no response. Really beginning to question whether or not the people are all just dead inside their homes, or if they've all transformed into beasts, or what exactly. Interesting that in this area, previously we'd only seen the the larger beasts, uh, like the ones that run around, come on now, that run around on four limbs like the very first enemy in Osephicus Clinic. We didn't start seeing the smaller ones until we had gone down into Old Yarnum. But now the smaller one was what people have apparently been transforming into. I wonder if the smaller creatures are like an initial phase, or what exactly? And again, no response. Also, haven't seen a single blood vial since I started doing this, so clearly that has paid off quite well. Ways my mind is kind of reeling uh, from what is going on and trying to interpret it all right now. So I hope that explains a little bit of my quietness here. Uh, it is not that I don't have new pieces of information, it's just I'm not entirely sure how to process them yet. It seems like we must have, oh, thank god, we must have completed the ritual. And now, when I say that, did we complete the ritual? Like, our character? Were we responsible for what's going on? Or are there other people that are doing this and we're... Okay. Uh, and our timing is just coincidental. You know, that... The death of Rom, did us killing him fulfill part of the ritual? I don't think so. I don't see what he would have had to do with the newborn thing. Like the woman that was down there with her 
I hesitate to say it because it's just that disturbing, but her womb ripped out. Um, you know, we didn't do that to her. She was just down there like that. You know, as much as I want myself to be the good guy in all of this, I, uh, I don't think we were the ones responsible for sacrificing a newborn child or anything. But, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know how well, how literally, I suppose, how uh, I should be taking the events here, whether or not what we've been seeing is the literal, literal interpretation of these events, or if we're in some sort of dream or nightmare where sometimes things are a little non sequitur in the way they happen, where just we killed Rom and then suddenly the, the woman was there. Uh, I'm not really sure. response. So, a little disappointed in how few responses there are from people over here. Um, as I was hoping, there would be more dialogue and plot related stuff to coincide with the changing of the moon to this sort of Blood Moon, uh, you know, presumably that's the Pale Blood Moon, or the, the Pale Blood that we have been seeking from the beginning. Well, I was going to try to transform to maybe get a backstab off against this guy, but uh, that didn't work out so well. Nope, neither did that. Alright, well let's stop playing around. go along with what we were just talking about. He was saying it's your fault over and over again to me as he attacked. What is my fault? Like, am I truly the one responsible for this? Like, are they blaming me because I'm trying to prevent something? Or are they blaming me because I'm the one causing all this? Oh, wow. My uh, bullet attacks have certainly gotten a lot better as the game has progressed. Uh, I can now just shoot those things to kill them. Which is a, a welcome change of pace, to be sure. So we're bullets. So we could go back up that way. There's the bridge and... Several enemies leading back towards the Cleric Beast, but what there weren't were really any NPC homes to discuss anything with. No response there. Which makes sense because we sent her to Osefka's. Osefka's, of course, now being unresponsive to us. That was one way to deal with him. At least we have gotten our blood vials up to 10. That's some progress. Oh, wait, there was a NPC right here. Wasn't there? Yeah, that used to be lit. Interesting, the lantern's not even on for that one. Most of the other ones still had the incense burner. Is there an item over there that I've somehow never gotten to? Okay. The other one still had the incense burner going, and just no response from the people inside. On that one, the lantern's gone out. This is a dead end? No, it goes that way. Wait, so... Is 
Is that an item on the ground? Where do I go to get over there? Huh. Let's check that out really quick. Is this not the spot? Oh, is that it? It's just like a weird graphical glitch on the... It has to be. Okay, well, that's quite disappointing. In that case, let's go ahead and rewind it a bit. And now we're going to find ourselves back at the tomb of Odin. Odin, however it's pronounced. Where our friend no longer appears to be. Well, I must say, Yarnum has gotten a lot lonelier since the apocalyptic ritual started. No responses from any of the houses, NPCs are missing or turned into beasts. Let's see what is going on up here in the one supposedly safe place that we still had, considering Osefka's has gone dark. ...and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame, it makes my head shudder uncontrollably. So maybe the Bergenware spider, Rom, was keeping away the lost master. My killing of Rom has been what started all this? Like, was Rom the good guy? And I've made a terrible mistake? Oh, the hunter. Alive and well, are ya? This here is a safe place. Stay as long as you like. But next time you're out on a hunt, if you find any spurs in, nothing. Yep. Same as always. Oh, she is doubled over. Oh, there you are. Forgive me, I'm a bit out of sorts. So, no blood today, I'm afraid. Oh, there's something wrong with me. Okay. So she is clearly not doing well as the night progresses. sedative. So all it took for this uh, old lady to be nice to us was for her to finally lose her mind. What is it? Are you in a bind again? <laughs> and I have my share of woes. <laughs> so she just keeps giving us sedatives to that time. Alright, let's just go ahead and Re-repeat this. Three that time. Is she just the infinite... She gave us up to ten. Okay, so I, I'm guessing maybe she just keeps giving us sedatives until we have ten now. 
your lies spin a web, but I see through your deceit. I did not learn from books. No, 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 no. I learned it all with my own mind. Ah, uh, but I, I did not. I learned it. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Uh, not a whole lot of progress made, but we did get the opportunity to refill our blood vials, making the next foray off into the Unseen Village a little bit more tenable. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you'll join me for next time. Feel free to leave a like or a comment. If you have anything to say about this or any of my other videos, I always appreciate the feedback, and I will catch you guys next time.